morning. They all smile back. Places to go, people to meet. Tuesday. Back in Stafford, I am. <laughs> Alright, now. This is important. I come from a very normal, solid, middle class, stable background where people pay their way. But this is Paul's letter to Corinthians, chapter 9, the rights of an apostle. <coughs> Who serves, this is continuing, <coughs> Who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its grapes? Who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk? Do I say this merely from a human point of view? Doesn't the law say the same thing? For it is written in the law of Moses, Do not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain. Is it about oxen that God is concerned? Surely he says this for us, doesn't he? Yes, <coughs> this was written for us because when the plowman plows and the thresher threshes, they ought to do so in the hope of sharing in the harvest. If we have sown spiritual seed among you, is it too much if we reap a material harvest from you? If others have this right of support from you, shouldn't we have it all the more? But we did not use this right. On the contrary, we put up with anything rather than hinder the gospel of Christ. Don't you know that those who work in the temple get their food from the temple, and those who serve at the altar share in what is offered on the altar? In the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. It goes on, but I'm stopping there. <coughs> well, I don't have difficulty with that, quite frankly. If I'm giving up my life, whatever, <coughs> it's been taken from me or whatever, I wouldn't work in England because of my broken marriage and pay a single penny of tax to the government um, because of the Child Support Agency, which is exactly what it says, but it's a false situation. My former wife has achieved a false position of absconding uh, with our child, accusing me of a load of rubbish, and then I'm expected to pay for the privilege. Of course I wanted to look, bring him up properly. But with normal involvement in the family. I'm not going to go on about that. So I wouldn't work normally in England. I had a computing company. Clearly, I can't go back to being a normal computing bunny. This is what I am. I am a Christian. I believe bringing your word, my Lord, to people to love God, to teach, to heal. That is what I have on my sight. That is what I do. How I perceive it as I travel around the world. This is my work. It is work, in the first instance, to love you, that is for all of us, there's this wonderful, beautiful gift from life that we can love you. No, never, what, no mind anyone else in the world has to say or do. It's a personal, direct relationship between you and us, individuals. Wonderful. <laughs> <There's more. laughs> I didn't think I had much to say. But. <laughs>